Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can dismantle blower for Detroit engine. This is a blower for 471 four cylinder Detroit GM engine. This is a blower. The purpose of taking out this blower is that the blower was jammed and uh, I can hear a knocking sound. That's why I removed the blower. Uh, I just suspected and I'm sure that the problem is in the blower I can see the plates are worn out that is the reason and uh, there is uh, lack of clearance so blower is not moving freely by hand and it's not giving air as required for the engine so as you can see I have marked both the side of covers because at the one end fresh water pump is fitted other end there's a drive for the governor and the other end is drive from the gear and also there is a drive for the fuel pump so this is the cover I removed the cover by opening for all the bolts as you can see this is the drive for fresh water pump remove the bolts from both the end and take out the cover there was a knocking sound in the generator the generator was taking load but as a chief engineer suspected that there is a knocking sound from the blower so at first I also removed the drive shaft I inspected the drive shaft it's okay and finally I decided to take out the blower so as you can see both the end covers have been removed and here you can see bearing housing there's a bearing, this is a drive for the fuel pump as you can see this one, this is a drive for the fuel pump and the other end is a drive shaft here inside this is a drive shaft from where blower is driven with the help of the gear in the timing gear this is the gear for the fresh water pump through this gear fresh water pump is driven and given to the engine and the other side is for the governor so I have marked cover before removing open the drive for the fresh water pump coupling This is GM Detroit engine 471 series. This is a lock nut. We have already removed the coupling for the fresh water pump. This is a lock nut for the gear. There is a lock. Just release the lock the help of the screwdriver make sure you do not damage yourself by putting your finger in between the gears and also make sure the person who is working with you is also in the same standing in the same position or he's not putting his finger in between the blower so with the help of the screwdriver just unlock this lock so you can take out the locking bolt of the gear both the gears have lock it's like a washer it's like a plate one end is banged on the gear side and other end is banged on the nut side bolt side so just release 
the lock there as you can see with the help of the screwdriver and just uh, use a correct size box spanner just lock it lock the blower by putting a wooden piece or anything which should not damage the blower blades inside and with the help of a ratchet and box lose the gear locking bolt all the threads are normal threads is having a fine thread but the opening position of all the bolts are same as normal standard thread thread make sure to keep all the bolts and washers in a safe place so that you can use it when you are assembling it this is a video i am just showing you how to dismantle it i have to wait for the spare part to assemble once i receive spare parts then i'll try to make a video when i am assembling this blower so this is a gm retro engine this is the two stroke engine so that's why a blower is given the so blower there is a port in the liner and the air is given to the blower and directly air will go on the piston to the ports in the liner so this is a two stroke engine that means all the valves of the two stroke engines are exhaust in one cylinder there are four valves and all the four valves are exhaust valves there is no inlet valve in gm detroit engine two stroke engines so that is the reason blower is given so that it can get a proportional ratio of air which will go to the port which is in the liner and it will go on the piston through that through the blower the air will go through the liner and it will help for the transition just with the help of a, a spanner or anything you can use with the mind you have only have to keep in the mind that the gear teeth should not damage so with the help of a spanner i'm just trying to take it out it's almost I think the blower is bent blades are bent and the shaft is also a little bent that why it is uh, not coming easily but in your case if you just assume uh, dismantling and overhauling it in your case maybe the gear will come out very easily with a one push with the help of a spanner so just I'm trying to push it with the spanner but it's hard the one gear is touching with the other gear that means the shaft is bent if the gear is not coming out just try to take out with the help of a puller i'm just trying it with the help of a spanner and finally the other end I'm just removing the lock of the bearing, and I try to push the blades, the impeller, on the other side by tapping it only. So this is a lock plate. The lock plate is secured with the three, uh, two bolts, three bolts, and also bearing is secured with it. You can see the bearing. This is the drive for the fuel fuel transfer pump. This is the drive. Coupling is 
connected the in the center there is a grub screw allen key bolt with the help of the allen key just remove that allen key bolt and take out the drive coupling for the fuel pump make sure you mark the cover both the end so that you fix it properly and you don't have to do double job i have marked with the help of a center punch i started from the one end i mark 1 2 3 4 this is the coupling just push it pull it outside this is the coupling drive for the fuel pump open the allen key bolt and pull it out so our other side also is free also there is a lock plate for the bearing that also i am removing it so that i can get a clear view so again i am telling you that this is a gm Detroit diesel engine 471 series. Then this is a two-stroke engine. It also have a turbo charger. This is lock plate I have removed. This is a drive for the blower. Just have to tap it and take out the side plate. The side plate has been worn out from inside, and there are a lot of scratches. Inside. So, with the help of machining, it cannot be repaired. So I just try to install a new one or a reuse, recondition one, as I will get from my company. Just carefully tap, put it with the help of the screwdriver with both the hands. Just tap with the rubber hammer. If the plate does not come out, that means you have. not remove one bolt or some something is touching or some circlip you have not removed so make sure all the bolts have been removed and the circlip also is removed so here after tapping i have removed the blower blades as you can see it's worn out and this is the casing for the blower and this is the side plate which is worn out and it is not repairable So I'll try to replace it. So this is the condition of the casing. In this condition, you cannot assemble it, and maybe it will not be successful. And again, you have to repeat the same job. So in my opinion, if you have like this problem, please replace the blower casing or the side plate if available. So this is a blower for the two-stroke Detroit GM engine. This the side plates have been worn out, and there are deep cuts. It's approximately maybe two three mm, so it is not uh, repairable. Maybe we have to go for the recondition one. The drive shaft seal area is also damaged. 